What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So we got some really good news about the iOS 10 jailbreak. And I'll get into that news here in a minute. Uh, also, you guys might notice I do have the iPhone 7, uh, but there's a little bit more uh, information to go with that as well. And I'll talk about the iPhone 7 at the end of this video so you guys know what's going on. Uh, but anyways, like I said, we got some really good news about the iOS 10 jailbreak. Uh, there was a conversation here leaked from Weibo, which is a Chinese microblogging website. Uh, and first off, we're going to look at who is saying the jailbreak will be released soon. And then we'll get more into this uh, post or screenshot here in a minute. So first off, uh, this is actually from a guy named Min Zhang. And I think he likes to go by the nickname of Spark. Now, if you guys might remember back when iOS 9.3.3 was jailbroken, it was actually soon patched by Apple with iOS 9.3.4. Uh, and this is the guy that actually re-jailbroke iOS 9.3.4. Uh, there's actually a demo video, as you can see within his recent photos. It's still there. You can actually go through his tweets because he doesn't have too many tweets. And you can check out that iOS 9.3.4 jailbreak demo, which is really cool. So who is Min Zeng? Well, he is actually an Android slash iOS senior security engineer at Alibaba. Now, if you guys don't know what Alibaba is, it's basically the Chinese version of eBay. It's a monstrous company, huge company. Like I said, it's called Alibaba. So let's get a little bit uh, more deep into this. We got a really cool post here on Forbes, uh, and I'll read this out for you guys as well. So in June... 2014, Alibaba acquired the PP Assistant Marketplace, also known as 25PP, via the purchase of browser maker UC Web. So now if you guys would remember, 25PP is actually a partner with Pangu. So when the Pangu jailbreak is released, they usually have the 25PP application, which is the Chinese application. So uh, 25PP is a partner of Pangu and 25PP is owned by Alibaba. So this is some really good information. This guy is directly linked uh, by working at Alibaba, which also owns 25PP, which is partnered basically with the Pangu jailbreaks. So this guy is basically a direct link to Pangu, which is pretty awesome. This guy definitely knows what he's talking about. So Let's get back into this leaked screenshot here, and I will uh, read out the translated version. It doesn't really make too much sense, but I'll also give you guys kind of uh, my translated version of it uh, after I, I explain this. So first off, this is what it says. How to speak iOS jailbreak 10 will open out. If this continues soon, iOS jailbreak and have become as popular as the Android root of course someone temporary break in agreement is possible so no then do not cut me all right so that probably doesn't make any sense but this is pretty much what it says uh in my opinion so uh the ios 10 jailbreak will be open source soon ios jailbreaking will become as popular as rooting on android unforeseen delays are possible so don't blame me if they don't release it soon uh, so that is pretty much what is said in this post, which is very, very exciting. One, we should have a jailbreak very soon. Unfortunately, there's no time frame uh, posted here. It doesn't give us any kind of time frame. And it also doesn't uh, tell us what uh, firmware they're targeting, whether it's going to be iOS 10.1, 10.1.1, or 10.2. Uh, that information is not there, but I still think this is very good information uh, to know. And also... If the jailbreak is going to be open source, that is huge. I want to say this would probably be the first time a jailbreak is actually open source. Uh, and that will allow other kind of hackers, I guess you could say, or uh, you know, people that know a lot about iOS security to contribute towards jailbreaking, which in turn kind of makes sense when he explains that it could be become as popular as rooting on Android. So that totally makes sense. And that is... Uh, pretty insane if they do do that, if they make the jailbreak open source. That is awesome, awesome news. Uh, so like I said, there's no time frame. Uh, there's no, you know, 
firmware targeted within this, but it's still very good news to say none the least. Uh, but anyways, that's the news for the iOS 10 jailbreak. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering about the iPhone 7. Well, yes, I do have the iPhone 7, but unfortunately, US Cellular sent me the wrong device. I actually ordered the iPhone 7 Plus, uh, so they kind of screwed it up. I did receive this yesterday, and uh, supposedly they will be overnighting the iPhone 7 Plus to me, so hopefully it will be here tomorrow. If not, I think it should be here by Friday, and then uh, let me know. Do you guys want me to do an unboxing of it? Or let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to cover of the iPhone 7 Plus. I'm curious to hear. Uh, and also let me know what you guys think about the iOS 10 jailbreak in the comments down below. I'll be talking to you guys as much as I can there. So be sure to tune in. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.